go. Finished. Congratulations to Hooded making it all the way to Grand Finals. Uh, I think this is the second time now. Or third time. Maybe fourth time. Maybe this happens every time I do a tournament. Uh, it seems to be Hooded Crovy in Grand Finals. Which is exciting. Because I actually like watching them. Because they usually go back and forth a couple times. So... Uh, I have yet to know the score of this. They have yet to input it themselves in the challenge, I think, when I looked. Uh, thank you for that, for keeping the mystery at hand. And yeah, let's get going here, setting them up. I just need to quickly look and see who and who. Okay. Sick. We're going to swap that. Put Crovey there and get this show on the road. Grand finals. Can't believe we made it. A little bit under 11 o'clock still too. 10.30. Nice. And uh, of course Hooded is going to be playing in the losers category. So he has to beat Crovey twice. So let's see if uh ends up going in his favor this time. Does he beat Hood uh, Crovey? Does Crovey beat Hooded? Again. We will soon have the answers as soon as I press play. Awesome. All right, get excited. Grand Finals, it's here. It's finally now happening. Lysaker fell asleep because it's like 2 a.m. where he's at, I think. Uh, <laughs> pretty sure. Are you in the chat? Yeah, yeah, I've been by myself for a while. <laughs> I appreciate it, though, uh, Wiseacre. Uh, thank you for trying to stay up for as late as you can. I know it's not that late for me, but it is pretty late for you being three hours ahead of, ahead of me. So uh, for all the commentary you did, I very much appreciate it. And I still will have you for even more tournaments if I can. God bless. Shout out to you. All right, let's get started now. So we got a classic uh, Kirby Falcon matchup. Usually ends up going uh, Kirby's way depending on uh, the level of knowledge by the Falcon. And uh, Krovey being the knowledgeable Falcon that he is, winning a whole bunch of tournaments very recently against mostly Kirby's, Yoshi's, Pikachu's, Mario's. Uh, <laughs> You can say he has a very good Falcon matchup knowledge. Oh, nice low forward air recovery there. Yeah, I really enjoy uh, Krovey's uh, l Tomp cancel. See, that is probably one reason why I don't do that personally. Because if I don't get that timing right, you are very open and just sitting there. But knowing him, he did it on purpose. Nice little spacing battle on the edge. A little bit too dangerous for Falcon. Don't want to get caught any move here. Nice get up attack. Gets to grab on the bounce. Is that going to kill? Wow. High percent up air. Okay. Hooded just going to try to attack Falcon while he's doing these tech options in the middle of his shield on top of that. Seems he was playing his turn, but just like that, Krovey's coming in, taking it over now. DI is away from the side plat. Gets a good punish. Alright, tie to stock Pete. Three stocks apiece. Okay, run off fair to dare. Oh, nice little combo there by uh, Krovey. Seemed like he probably got a down air to a forward smash. That's why Zaker was saying uh, Krovey a big, big fan of dares. See if they uh, he does that a lot here against... Ooh, the Kirby matchup. Doesn't look like it. Kirby, though, loves dare on Falcon offstage. Are we going to see a standard? Kind of a standard. High percent up there to up B. Ooh, nice. Immediate bear from that short hop. I'm trying to punish the Landy game on this Kirby here, but Hooded not allowing it. Trying to take control of this middle stage now. 
Oh, that's exactly what I was talking about with those taunt cancels. But Crowby able to escape out with his DI. It's crazy, crazy DI. Put it showing a good DI earlier in his matches, but Crowby actually more well known for it. Getting that back air right there. Crowby up a stock now. Oh, Hoodie getting caught chasing. Yep, there. Ooh, Falcon just gonna wait for the tech. It's gonna punish with a dare on the roll. Only leading to some damage though. Fast falls into the ledge. And Hooded is gonna set up that edge guard with that nair. Oh, and I think uh might have missed a jump input or Crowby just knew he wasn't gonna get back anyway and just still only pushed B. Okay, getting used to his taunts now. Taunt canceling on the platform. Very good with Falcon. Very hard on the certain controller. I say Hori pads and the new uh, cheap, where everyone's calling Chori pads, have a little bit e ease of use to do the taunt cancels with the movement with Falcon and other characters. Oh no. Actually, I'm pretty sure both, uh, both players are using the exact controller. Hori like things. Oh, recovery is going to be a little tricky here. Oh, and Hood is going to take game one. Big tall order here, though. Let's see how uh, Krovi answers. He does have an option to change characters. But he decides to stay true and true to the bird, man. Uh, whoops. I know exactly what just happened. My bad, everybody. Forgot I can't press enter. Up tilt, up tilt combo chains in the middle of the stage here. Gonna set up an edge guard, but oh wow. Yep. It's just gonna get pushed off and still get hit with that dare. Deadly move of Kirby to do on Falcons with the shield. Oh, gets the fall off. Tries to escape, resets, gets the grab, goes into combo. Oh, nice. Gonna chain it into a forward smash to still make it true. Oh, two forward smashes by Hooded. Crowby gonna get back with that up B. Oh, Hooded showing good patience. Throwing out that uh, bat bear. Let's see what Crowby's gonna probably change up his game a little bit now. Seen a lot of movement here. Oh, almost getting punished with the Miss D cancel on Kobe. But able to escape fast enough. <laughs> Kobe not giving up on the cheese. He is addicted. He has no lactose intolerance. He is eating that stuff all day. Here's more cheese. Oh, decides to go for an air. Set him every for verse bear. Probably would have spaced him out a little bit better. Oh, Falcon able to punish with the invincibility still. Falcon got to play a little bit good here. Oh, just like that <laughs> hooded showing he is not afraid to do whatever it takes to get the win here. Is this going to be the time where uh, Kobe doesn't win grand finals? Or, uh, you know, gets a bracket reset here. So I'm pretty sure every time he's just won it straight every time. No second game needed. Let's see what he does here. Collects six spots. He decides to go to Pink Falcon now. See here. 
hooded needs this next game to move it on over to win this whole tournament now showing that uh, maybe he can uh, the win was not out of question over there at ghost town in pools unfortunately wasn't able to I think they didn't meet up in the bracket though if I'm wrong please let me know Got up tilts coming out here. Both players playing around each other spacing. Oh, nice coverage at that forward area. Yeah, it's gonna be edge guard situation. Oh, just calls out the forward smash. Gets the kill. Edge guard again. Sorry, I had to look away there for a second. Wish I didn't, because now Kobe's on the last stock here for a bracket reset. Oh, but he does not want that. Now he's coming out with the standards. Kirby unable to reach that ledge. Okay, we're on last stock piece now. Kirby kind of being patient now, waiting for his moment to strike, and he decides to do it there. Kirby floating in the middle of the stage. But Kirby was able to get two grabs of his own. Oh, dangerous move. Don't know if it was input error. But DIing able to save Kirby from not getting totally comboed to death. Oh, almost got the recovery. Doesn't have a jump. Or he did, he just wasn't sure. And hooded bracket reset. We have a bracket reset. Finally, first time I believe. Now Crovy himself is now in losers. Congratulations to Hooded meeting that. Okay, we're gonna reset the score now. See how things get going from here. Very exciting. Hooded, showing that uh, there was no fluke at Ghost Town, like I said earlier. All right, let's see how Krovi changes things up here. Remember, winner is character locked, so... Hooded, showing the prowess he knows on the matchup now. Okay, coming in hot now, a little bit more stylish combos. Forward air on tie plat. Ooh, almost gets the get-up attack. Tries to punish on the recovery, but forward air from uh, Kirby was able to stop that. Not able to get a trade off for Falcon though. Ooh, but a grab pivot up air, able to punish Kirby. the game where or is this the tournament where hooded takes it from Kirby? oh nice up air recovery able to get fast enough oh wow falcon with that quick speed to able to grab uh, kirby getting that quick up air up b kill doesn't go for a plat drop up air probably would have hit and punished him there oh just like that Oh, just a little bit too short. Gets his shield up smash out, though. Falcon having a nice little invincibility frame there. If done correctly. Oh, nice plat drop with the shield in there. Oh, keeps getting the tech read and a nice 
corner forward smash. High corner forward smash there by Krovy. Taking game one in this bracket reset. Krovy, character locked. Uh, Hooded now having the option to change characters. Still wants to keep it. No, you're going to finally see that. Nope. Does not let me have enough time to finish some lines. <laughs> He was thinking about the Yoshi though. Another good matchup for uh, most people who have to play against Falcon is a Yoshi other than Kirby or Pikachu. Yoshi having a kind of fun time with the parries and armor against Falcon who's a very straightforward character a little bit. So if you're not mixing up your timings, you're very easily punished. Ooh, and Hood had taken the stock though with that bear off the left side of the stage. Taking the first stock now, but Krovy coming answering back of his own combo and tech options. Tech reading options. So fall there. Kirby landing his up tilt though. Okay, those are some good uh, short hop airs. Short hop up airs from Kobe on the platform. And he lands the dare off the right side of the stage. Krovy in the lead now. Playing a little bit quicker and actually a little bit more aggressive than the last game. <clears throat> oh, DIing prematurely in. He kind of knew he was trying to push him off. Oh, I don't know if he was trying to punish a recovery. He's going to keep DIing in, though, but nope, not going to be able to reach it for another chance. Oh, nice bait in pivot for the grab. Nice tech uh, tech reads there with the dares on the platforms. Doesn't quite get the kill though. Kirby just kind of looking for Kirby to jump into his moves now. Not trying to be too predictable with his timing. Kirby trying to edge in and see where he's going to land. Trying to do the same thing really. Kirby having a little bit easier time doing it though, being the smaller character in Falcon so big, but wow, Falcon's showing a runoff plat drop bear. Oh, doesn't decide to punish with a dare, plat drop dare. Oh, lands a weak hit. Nair keeps it going. Nope. Kirby able to escape. Oh wow, he's able to get soccer kicked there. Doesn't go for another one. Probably could have landed right there instead of going for ledge. Krovy? Okay. He probably could have upbeat on the plat tech, but decides to go for another one for the upbeat. Krovy up game two now on this grand, grand final bracket reset. And we're there's the Yoshi finally. It's been about the whole tournament so far since I've seen the hooded Yoshi. Krovy looking like to take away this bracket reset. Oh, nice use of parry and armor. Nice get up punish though from Falcon. Oh wow, able to get out fast enough for the grab. Does he get the kill though? Did not feel comfortable enough for the up B. Felt as though he might have gotten punished. His ultra instinct kicked in. Oh no, not far enough. Gonna get punished with that down B too from Yoshi. Ah, uh, not enough time to grab ledge. Fastfall input maybe uh, maybe might have missed it for him. DI's behind Yoshi trying to escape up tilts. Gets a nice hit there. Oh, nice. I think he might have crouch canceled that just to get the uh, less hit lag. Oh, nice DI, but... Still makes him pretty punishable. Back to neutral, fast fall bear. Short hop up bear. Oh no. Might have been a miss input error there. Could have trying to take this one away though. Gonna get whatever he wants. Get whatever he can, really. Ooh, DJC fair. 
Standard Yoshi combo. Oh, doesn't quite get a jab. Trying to look and fish for that forward air, maybe. Oh, yeah. Gonna hog that ledge for that win. As I said, Hood is not afraid to go for that cheese. For that win. Hooded? Or not hooded. Uh, Crovy deciding to stay character locked, though. Hooded character locked as well. Oh, quick. Quick running for a grab. Another grab. Gets the immediate hit Falcon Punch on the frame kill. Nice up air. Uh, or not up air. Up smash. Two of them chaining into up air combos. Nice. Quick standards here. Oh, things going Krovy's way in this game, uh, game four situation. Okay, Hooded's turn to read the options for the text. Gets the up smash. Hogs ledge. Ledge, ledge. Falcon able to beat him out. Oh, nice. And just like that, he's gonna break the armor with the forward smash. I gotta look at back at what percentage that was. He's gonna come in with the <laughs> Falcon kick land. A bear dares. Wants to keep it going, but he lets Hooded get a parry out. Or armor or DJC, I'm not too sure. Ooh, the fart's gonna give him another chance. Oh, Krovy would rather just come in fresh stocked. He is up a stock here. A whole uppy recovery on the Yoshi armor. Nice DI. It's only getting me. Is that it? Oh no, one more chance of recovery. Oh, yep. Oh, two bears. And just like that, Krovy remains champion. No one can beat this man in the net play tournaments, it seems. <laughs> Congratulations to Krovy on winning West Coast Wednesday Night Smash number four. Yay! Let me hear it for him in chat. Yay, Krovy or Boo Krovy. Are you a fan of Krovy? Who knows? I am not tired of him winning. But uh, good showing to Hooded, though. Able to get a bracket reset, though, in the first game. Showing that uh, Kirby matchup on Falcon that, you know, pretty can go one way in his way. But Yahoo, indeed cabbage but unfortunately uh Krovy able to uh adapt to play a little bit differently and take the win on his own sorry about that but yeah congratulations to Krovy and uh, everyone else who got the top placement and uh right now I will show put in the final score now so if you want to see the bracket link just hit exclamation point bracket and that will end the tournament Finally, I appreciate uh, both Hooded and Krovy not entering uh, grand final score just so things weren't too ruined in the end. Kind of wasn't thinking about that too much, but hey, we got through it. like to thank everyone again for coming in watching. Please uh, stay tuned. Keep in touch. Watch, you know, pay attention to the Discord maybe. You'll see the link for the next one next month. Not sure if it will be beginning or end month, but probably more towards the end of the month. I have a NorCal tournament I have to help set up, so stay tuned for that one as well. I'm going to try and get my uh, NorCal console streams better, you know, but slow steps, baby steps. Uh, Thank you again. Shout outs to the Prime subs, follows, and uh, new chatters in there. All right. Thank you, everybody. Uh, let me show you the last minute of the bracket here. So last end of losers. Here's the final score now. And yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. Go home now. Goodbye. You don't have to stay here, but you can leave. Get out of here. It's over. Krovy won again. No one's stopping him.